Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some of the gifts that I got for Christmas this year. This is not a video to brag or to show off but it is a video to just share my joy basically and maybe also give you some ideas for gifts you can give other people because uh, I have gotten a very very special gift this year which I think is absolutely stunning. I had never seen anything like it before and so I really wanted to share this and maybe um, yeah show you that this exists because it's crazy to me and that would be the gift that my best friend got me this year and it is this little decoration for your bookshelves and it's basically a little magical library in a box and you can see here it has like little decorations everywhere and a bookcase that is filled with books and some pictures on the wall um, yeah, it's almost like a dollhouse and then back there you have a mirror so it seems like it's going on <laughs> in the back and you can basically put that in between the books on your shelves and it will look like you have a tiny library on your bookshelves and it lights up as you can see you can also turn the lights off and it's just so cute so adorable um, and I really, really love it. I really have to find an amazing place for this on my shelves. And it also comes with this little, little, little thing you can put in the front. And then you have these um, tiny little books. This one is glued on so it can't fall off, but all the other books are basically uh, loose. And uh, yeah, they're just these tiny little books. And my best friend made this with her mom uh, completely from scratch, more or less. So you can buy these little book covers as sheets of papers and they cut them out and they glued them together. It's like, it's definitely amazing. Like I could never, it is so special and it's so beautiful. So I can't wait to put that on my shelves. I already have an idea where I put it, but um, yeah, I still have to figure that out because I have some books that I want to be around it, but they're on my top shelf and I'm afraid that you can't really see it on the top shelf. So maybe I will have to rearrange my shelves, but that doesn't matter because this is the most precious thing you can get a book lover. I think um, it will look amazing on my shelves. So yeah, I definitely wanted to show that off and uh, because that would be a very short and boring video, I wanted to mention some of the other gifts, especially the books that I got. My best friend also gave me the next installment in Chi. This is a number six. I am making my way through this series. Um, it's a manga series about a small cat who gets into a lot of trouble and yeah, I can't wait to read this. I usually read that when I try to read a lot uh, for things like The Reading Rush or last year I just did a week of trying to read seven books in seven days. So these books are perfect for that. Then my grandma got me this book, which was on my wish list. This is uh, Fragen, die mir zum Holocaust gestellt werden by Hedi Fried. And this is a book uh, written by a Holocaust survivor. And uh, Hedi Fried was basically doing talks uh, on, in high schools and stuff like that, talking about the Holocaust. And uh, this is a little book about common questions uh, that were asked and uh, the answers. So I thought this would be very interesting and I don't know why the light is fading now. I really don't want to get out my ring light. It's the middle of the day. It's not even like one in the afternoon. Oh, why is it doing that to me? I'm gonna get the ring light. Okay, I hope that is a little bit better. The next book uh, I think I got also from my grandma. No, I think this is one for my mom, but you know, I always send a wish list to my mom and then she gets the gifts and distributes. So I got Pachinko. Uh, this one is by Min Jin Lee. I hope I didn't butcher that too badly. And this is a book that I have heard nothing but great things about. This uh, is set 
uh, or it starts in Korea in 1911 and it follows a girl who gets pregnant and then marry someone to kind of get out of this situation and uh, I think it sounds like it is focusing on the relationships as well between countries like Japan and Korea during the time which were obviously very strained uh, to say the least so yeah I'm very very excited about this book it's a historical fiction but uh, you know not centered around things like uh, World War II in Europe, which I have read like 10,000 books about, so I think this will be amazing. Then uh, a book that a friend of mine got me, it's called Radikale Zärtlichkeit, Warum Liebe politisch ist. So um, the tagline is Why Love is Political. And this is basically a book about love, about relationships and what it means to love in a capitalist society you know, uh, with all the oppression going on and the power imbalances between the sexes and, uh, you know, uh, just looking at, yeah, at love and relationships and what that does in our society. I think the author is called uh, Sheda Kurt and yeah, this sounds great. I'm really excited to get into this. I have never heard about this book before, but it sounds like it's perfect for me. Then my mom got me the Broken Earth trilogy, finally! So we have The Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate and The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin in this beautiful box set, which I'm holding upside down. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to read these books for so long. I just talked about them in a video with my reading plans for 2022. So this is perfect and I'm very excited to read this. I can only tell you that it is fantasy. It is set in a world where like earthquakes happen a lot and there's people with magical abilities but they're shunned so they don't really use their magic to help everyone I guess and it has a poly relationship in here so that's all I know that's enough for me to want to try. And then the last book I got is also very very exciting and that is Ace. What Asexuality Reveals About Desire, Society and the Meaning of Sex by Angela Chen. And again, this is a book that I just really wanted to give a try because I've heard so many good things about it. And uh, I have to be honest that I haven't ever really thought about asexuality a lot. So I definitely want to learn. And I think this is a good resource, a good place to start. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to read this next year. So these were the books that I got. I have a couple of other things that I quickly wanted to mention. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get the rest out of the way. My partner gave me this. I have no idea whether this is something that is known around the world, but it is a game called Das Verrückte Labyrinth. And it's a game that I played a lot when I was a child. And I absolutely love this game. It's very, very simple, but just, you know, you have to think a lot when you play it. And that's the kind of games that I like, you know, very low stakes and a lot of thinking. So I'm so excited to play this with my partner on New Year's Eve. You can't even imagine. <laughs> like, I'm so, so excited. And he doesn't know the rules, so I can, you know, tweak them, so I win every time. And then my partner also gave me this planner. Um, it's just called Ein Guter Plan, and it's basically a mindfulness planner. I already had one this year, and it was amazing. It really, really helped me this year. Um, it has a lot of uh, space for thoughts, and uh, you have, like, weekly uh, spreads. Um, maybe I can show you. So basically you have the week on this side and you have notes on this side where I always made like meal plans and stuff and you always have like a little uh, quote uh, that goes with every week but then you also have like monthly pages where you can track good habits like I was tracking my um, you know uploading schedules and my workout routine and stuff like that so there's a lot of room for the things that I need in a planner um, it's actually really really perfect so I'm glad to have a new one for 2022 and I know that's super weird but I also got my partner one so we basically gave each other the same gift 
but I don't care. <laughs> then I got uh, two movies. I got Little Women and I got the Ro Rocky Horror Picture Show. This one, I don't know. I Every October I want to watch this movie because it's like my favorite. And it's so hard to find. Like Netflix never has it when I want to watch it. And so every year we struggle to find it. And this year I finally put it on my wish list to have this as a Blu-ray. And the same year my partner is like, mm, I'm gonna get it for her. So I actually got this one twice, which is super sad, but it just shows that my partner knows me really, really well <laughs> because yeah, I should have just shown him the stuff I put on my wish list for my mom. And Little Woman was actually the last movie I wanted to see before the pandemic. But then, you know, lockdowns came and I never saw it. So I'm very excited for this movie. I love Sasha Ronan. I love Emma Watson. And um, I also really love Timothy Chalamet. So I hope this is a good one. We'll see. And um, yeah, that's the movies. And then <laughs> my best friend got me these little socks they are tea socks they have a little teacups and chamomile aren't they precious i think they're so so cute <laughs> i love socks i love funny socks um i always have like cute funny socks on my feet and then um i got two candles which is super exciting i got this one um i think this is a german brand i'm not really sure uh, yes, very sure. Um, but it's a blood blood orange scent. Uh, it's very nice. This is definitely something that will be amazing in January and February. That's when I really like these kind of fruity, tarty scents. And then my mom got me a party light candle. And these are really, really good as well. They usually last for a very long time. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's holiday spices and it smells exactly like you would imagine. It basically smells like you just fell into a big batch of like gingerbread batter. Oh, so good. It's so good. I can't wait to burn this. Okay, then I obviously got a ton of like sweets. One of my friends sent me a ton of like baklava style sweets, which I'm so excited to get into and yeah my family in general is really good with sweets um always like very exciting stuff and i also got quite a few like uh, beauty related things like shower gels hand creams and stuff like that which i also really love but i usually show these in my used up videos so they will pop up here and there anyway and i don't want to go through them right now but one last thing my aunt got me and i think it's so super cute it's definitely something that is also perfect for my bookshelves and it is this little owl it's so cute <laughs> yeah i'm really excited to put this on my bookshelves and i think i will keep it year round i mean it has like a christmasy symbol of my region but really i don't mind i think that's so cute Okay, so this would be all of the gifts that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you found some of these things interesting. Definitely let me know what your most exciting gift this year was, if you got any good books to read or anything else. Um, I would love to hear about that. For me, definitely um, this little mini library. It's just the best. So, yeah. I hope you had a lovely Christmas time or a holiday time when you don't celebrate and I will talk to you soon. Bye!